everyone, George here, and welcome to a new video from the GFS Gallery. I normally start off my videos by saying how excited I am, don't I? Um, that's not the case today, I'm afraid. Got some very sad news. Uh, long story short, all my crypts are dying in my Akinscope 1200, which is pretty tragic for me. This has been going for 16 months now. The crypts have been there almost from right at the beginning. Super mature, looking super healthy. And then over the last few days, I've just noticed a little bit of crypt melt in some of the leaves. And now uh, pretty much every leaf is showing symptoms of crypt melt. So crypt melt is really common in new crypts, especially in new aquariums. So uh, when we buy our plants, they're usually in their emerged form, which means they've been growing out of water. Uh, when we plant them underwater, they have to go through a transition to adapt from their emerged growth to their submerged growth or underwater growth. During this process, the, the plant can struggle. It can shed its leaf, which we call crypt melt, and then it will grow new leaves back. So it's not so much of a problem uh, in a new aquarium. You, you know, the, it's not going to look very mature. So any crypt melt isn't really going to have much of an impact on the aquascape. In my case, you know, this is 16 months old. It's been growing and maturing beautifully and evolving. It's a real drama for me, you know, the crypts are uh, probably 80% of the layout. So if we lose all of, all of these, we're losing 80% of that impact. So it's a really sad time for me, actually. Um, it's just really starting to look great. I was gonna get it prepared for the IOPLC contest, the Japanese um, aquascaping contest organized by Aqua Designer Mano. I was really looking forward to competing in that. I don't think there's gonna be much chance of that now. And I'm not sure what to do. Um, uh, there's a few options. I can just search out the worst effective leaves, trim them back. Hopefully they'll grow new leaves back again. Uh, I could trim them all the way back, every crypt, just trim it right near the substrate. This will generate new growth and then just wait, you know, however long it will take for the you know, new growth to come back and the aquascape look mature. Or I can use it as an opportunity to do a new layout. I've got lots of beautiful epiphyte plants here, Bucophylandra, Anubius, uh, a little bit of microsorum there as well, some mosses. Got some great hardscape. So I can uh, do a new layout. I can use the same kind of concept, maybe of an open substrate and maybe do an island composition or something different, but sticking to the same kind of low maintenance aquascaping that I really love. So a few options. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. What, what should I do? Now, what I am going to do for sure is trim back. I'm not even sure should I do that. I'm just thinking out loud to you guys right now. I'm going to trim them all back. I'm going to trip, trim every crypt right back to the substrate. It's going to absolutely decimate the layout. It's going to look awful. Um, but I'm going to trim them right back and then I'm going to wait a few weeks and see if they're the new growth, how quick it comes back and what it comes back like. And then I'll make a decision after that, I think. In the meantime, while the crypts are growing back, the aquascape's going to be very open to algae because the biomass of the crypts is really helping to limit the risk of algae. By reducing that biomass, we're going to give algae the upper hand. So I will plant some either fast-growing stems uh, just around the crypts for now, and I'll probably put a load of floating plants in there as well to help mitigate this risk of algae. So, yeah... It's a real, it's a really sad one, really. It was just looking really great. I was like, like I said, I was looking forward to entering it in a in a couple of contests, perhaps this year. And yeah, next steps will be interesting. As you can see, the majority of the leaves are affected somehow. Uh, either the crypt melt's just started or the leaves pretty much disappeared altogether. If I decided to just trim off the ones that had melt and leave any purely healthy ones, I think the aquascape would just look stupid. It would just have the odd crypt leaf here and there. So what I'm going to do is trim them all right back to the substrate this is gonna hopefully trigger new growth quite quickly. And I'll give it, like I said, I'll give it a few weeks, see how I feel and consider my options. But like I said, guys, really appreciate your input on this one. Maybe you've experienced something similar. What did you do about it? What do you think I should do? Bite the bullet, 
start over afresh maybe. This is a good opportunity perhaps to do a completely new scape. I don't want to do that though, I really love this scape. I love the livestock, I love the plants, apart from the, apart from the crypts right now, of course. Um, so I really would like to see it rescued, I think. So we'll see how we go. It's really important to also discuss why we've got the crypt melt to start with. Now, nothing's changed as far as I know, no significant environmental changes, which is what can induce the crypt melt to start with. Maintenance has been exactly the same, you know, weekly water changes, fertilizers the same a little bit every day fish food exactly the same. So there might have been some airborne pollutants, I guess, but if that was the case, then we, well, the shrimp would be dead and there, there are some, it's got to be something specific to this aquarium. So some things either been added to it accidentally, uh, hopefully accidentally, I don't think anyone would deliberately sabotage my aquascaper 1200. Um, but that's interesting. I th I've got, it might be confirmation bias, but the fact that the shrimp populations, as far as I can tell, suddenly died right back. The crypts are dying right back. I wonder if there's a link there. I'm not sure. So anyway, I'm rambling. Um, you might find some of that rambling useful. Let's go ahead and cut back the crypts. I'll do a time lapse for that. Okay, I'll just have to talk while Tommy's kind of attacking me. Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I've removed all of the crypts pretty much, apart from the left-hand portion. So I've cut right down to the substrate, decimated the over half of the crypts that are in there. Um, it looks obviously hugely different. I've actually exposed this wood on the right here, which I'll I totally forgot about it. it was completely covered up before by the crypts so it's nice to see that and hopefully these crypts just behind here will grow back become more dense and we'll get this beautiful kind of triangular composition once again so I'm not sure how I feel about it to be honest I'm really sad to have lost the old crypts um, I'm sure they'll grow back okay but I'm not sure how long it will take so um, yeah a bit of a mixed feelings this video so let me know in the comments guys what, what do you think what do you think might have caused this crypt melt? And do you think I should just wait it out and wait for the crypts to go back? Or do you think I should try another plant? You take care, keep on skating. Cheerio.